Well, when you tell someone you work in a hospice, it's a bit of a conversation stopper because people say things like, I couldn't do that or you must be a really special person because I think it's perhaps a sad place to work but it's actually a really upbeat place. You hear laughter every day on the wards. People do have a misconception about hospices. They hear the word hospice and think, oh, that's it, I'm not going to come out of there. Well, I think, I think we quite often people are worried about coming in and, and sort of frightened about what a hospice means but we we regularly see that within hours even of being in the building people have relaxed they're um, feeling better already as we drove past um, it looked like a stately home but when we came in here on the first day we said um, uh, the nurse said it's much as much a place for you as it is for us which, um, and it was. Patients love this place when they come in. Very few don't like it. If they're able to, to stand up or walk about and to look out the windows at these wonderful fields and the vista that's available and the ambience of the place, a 400 year old building. And the majority of people go home. Everybody's per personal journey is so different. People do come in and die, but that's at the end of their journey. The majority, over 66% of people, will go home. From the moment we stepped into Thorpe Hall, it was just like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. Here at Thorpe Hall Hospice, it's the family that is the focus of the care. So the ethos is that a patient doesn't exist in isolation, they exist within a family unit. Everybody's got somebody to love. Um, and. The one thing that I still do, and I still get upset about, and I will never stop doing it, is towards the end, particularly, I, I usually ask people to leave the room so that they can say their own goodbyes. There's one person there with their loved one, and that everybody's got a little bit of time with that one person that they love, and they're able to say their own goodbyes. And I get the beds together, and they can say goodbye. I have a little bit of dignity and I won't stop doing it. <laughs> so. so children are used to expressing their feelings through play. Um, it's much more natural than sitting down and talking to them like you might with an adult. So for example, we might be doing um, a Snow White jigsaw with a child and on occasions I've been known to take Snow White pieces out of it and just leave the dwarfs and then wonder how the dwarfs are feeling. Knowing that we can have a new hospice here on the site of Thorpe Hall is really important to so many people because the actual place of Thorpe Hall means so much to so many. It does have its own limitations of working in such an old building. We, it doesn't detract from the care that we give, however a new hospice with all singing, all dancing, it would be wonderful. I think the new hospice can only be a fantastic thing. It's, we, we do need it, the, the building is wonderful, but um, the, the opportunities that it will bring for Thorpe Hall to develop and expand will be huge. Um, so the, I think just in terms of the environment, being able to open doors, wheel a bed out into the garden, would be fantastic. As a team, we've all looked at the, at the plans, we've all decided amongst us this is what we would like and this is our dream. The big difference between being in hospital and being in Thorpe Hall is it's almost like a home from home. You go into the hospital and there was just like one nurse to six patients or something ridiculous and they're running around and you're kind of you're shoved in a little corner and all this kind of thing. Um, and I think the thought of him going into a hospice seemed like it was going to be the same kind of environment. But you get here and it's there's just there's so many carers and so little patients that the care is so um, intense and in, it's just really comfortable for everybody. I do go home with a certain satisfaction that I've helped somebody. You, you know, I'd like to think that anyway. If I'm not, well, I might as well pack them and go somewhere else, you know. <laughs>